The Herald of Andraste. Lord Esmeral Abernash. Honored to participate. It is not unlike the second dispersal of the reclaimed Dales. Nothing? Divinity puts you above such things, I suppose. The Lord Seeker is willing to hear our petition about closing the breach. A credit to our alliance with the Inquisition. Care to mark the moment? Ten Orlesian houses walk with you. No speeches. Just get me the chance to ask the Templars to help close the breach. Ceremony has value. Herald. Speaking of which, I don't suppose you'd divulge what finally got their attention. Rumor will, if you won't. What do you mean? The Lord Seeker won't meet us until he greets the Inquisition in person. Quite a surprise after the spat in Val Royale. The Lord Seeker may not be singling the Inquisition out for praise, Lord Abernash. A meeting is a meeting. Get his ear. See if you can't bend it to do something advantageous. Here we are. Very in fall, redoubt. Charming. It appears they've sent someone to greet you. Present well. Everyone is a little tense for my liking. The Lord Seeker changed his mind about us rather quickly. Is he known for that? Not to play nice when there's money in it. Not sure what helm like him would want. What's going on, everybody? Here we are in Theronfall Redoubt. I am seeking the aid of the Templars to help close the breach. The mages decided to sell themselves willingly to uh, to Venter for quote-unquote protection to become their servants and, uh, you know, deal with demons and do blood magic and all the things that they do. They were going to do that regardless, but uh, now they've got an excuse, I guess. So I'm, I'm seeking the Templar's aid here with the help of these nobles. Here's a few. Can the sky sell night? Of course, but is your order not sworn to destroy heretical magic? Yes, but then if the Templars won't seal this breach, action against you shall be required. Action against us? The Empress of the woman listens to her thoughts. Oh, Maker. That lady, I can't help but be reminded of the old Pink Panther movies with Inspector Clouseau. It's awesome. Cracks me up. Here's a letter trying to talk some sense into somebody. Um, I'm thinking we might find that the Templars aren't in any better shape than the mages were? Something tells me, uh, Excuse things me, aren't uh, quite right. Lady, um, Countess Dover. Countess, ma. Is it true that the Herald of Andraste is coming? Is she here already? Do you wish to speak with me? Forgive me. I didn't realize it was you. I didn't think you'd be so, uh, tall. You mean Kunari? If Andraste has chosen you as her herald, I am sure she made no mistake. All right, first things first, let's loot the place. Let's keep the important things in mind. All right, let's go meet this dude. Uh, this dude's actually really cool. Sir Barris? This is our contact with the Templars, I guess. I present Knight Templar, Sir Delwyn Baris, second son of Ban Jevren Baris of Ferelden. Sir Baris, may I be so honored as to present Lord Esmeral Abanage? I'm the one who sent word to Cullen. He said the Inquisition works to close this breach in the Vale. I didn't think you'd bring such lofty company. Varys. Moderate holdings, your family. And the second son? <laughs> this promise of status has garnered interest from the Lord Seeker. Beyond sense. The sky burns with magic, but he ignores all calls to action until your friends arrive. Does the Lord Seeker believe the breach will heal on its own? If he does, he's not confiding in us. The Lord Seeker's actions make no sense. He promised to restore the Order's honor, 
then marched us here to wait. Templars should know their duty, even when held from it. About time one of you gobs said that. <laughs> we know the Lord Seeker, and every able bodied knight will help the Inquisition seal the breach. If you think we're right, abandon the Lord Seeker and help us. We can't abandon our orders. Not while the officers who survived the Conclave follow him. We've been asked to accept much after that shameful display in Val Royo. Our truth changes on the hour. Don't keep your betters waiting, Barris. There's important work for those born to it. One might question, what is the Templar's direction now? Just period. The Seeker has a request before you meet him. These are the standards. An honored right centered on the people, the Maker, and the Order. The Lord Seeker asks that you perform the right so he may see the Order in which you honor them. What if I fail? Well, there's no correct answer. The ritual simply shows Watchers who you are and what you value. If the Lord Seeker wants to analyze the Inquisition, let him do it when we meet. It's right. not only the Inquisition he's interested in. The Lord Seeker changed everything to meet you. Not the Inquisition, you. By name. Why? I don't know. He's been fixated on you ever since your horde of nobles arrived. The Lord Seeker makes us shuffle flags around. Refuse! Right, always the little games. I don't have time for this. The Lord Seeker can't delay any longer, Barris. Take us to him. The Lord Seeker's request about the rituals was... Poor shit, my servants might say. Making you, and by extension me, do this busy work. Right. One thing I agree Lord with that Seeker noble. Deal with this. Follow me. Right, I'm not going to be surprised to find that the Lord Seeker has a pedo stash and wants me to rub lotion on my skin or something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going for it. Something's not quite right here. I'm not fixing to do anything this dude wants. We either talk about it or I'm going home. We'll go find some other route, maybe go back to the mages or something. It's necessary, you know. You don't run a battlefield by committee. Without faith, you've no knights. You've... Knight Captain. You were expecting the Lord Seeker. He sent me to die for you. Well, that defeats the point of coming here in the first place then, doesn't it? He is not well. Knight Captain Denham, I brought the Inquisition's representatives. Will the Lord Seeker not see them? So, this is the Herald of Change. You are why everything must be moved ahead. Sir Barris, I'm right in assuming the Knight Captain has seen better days. I tried to make us ready. I thought I knew the way. Knight Captain, I must know what's going on. You are all supposed to be changed. Now we must purge the questioning knights. Really? So they learn no nothing from the Ferelden Circle Tower, huh? No one will leave far who is not stainlessly red. Make us breath. People. Yeah, alright. So, uh, no, for all the pointing of fingers that the Templars have done, condemning mages for their actions, they're doing the exact same thing right here. Here, let's just kill off each other. The, the absolute worst possible time. <laughs> Pulling the sky, pouring demons out, and they want to uh, purge themselves of themselves, and these guys have no direction or purpose anymore. Whatever they were trying to um, accomplish... By watching over the mages, which was their assigned role, I guess. Um, they've defeated by doing the same damn thing themselves. So they're definitely no better. Many of you might think I sympathize with the Templars and go against the mages. And Well, I go against the mages based on their actions. I mean, you know. Is the Knight Captain alive? Sir, if you use a healing elixir, he may survive. If he even deserves it. We'll heal him. Let's judge the Knight Captain after we find his master. I agree. We've no idea what came over him. I'd we'll talk to him later. I would question the Lord Seeker about this elder. But yeah, in this case, it's not a pro-mage or pro-Templar thing or any of that. The debate's kind of out the windows. Everybody's tripping.
they're all wrong. I mean, just wrong. There is no right. There's no gray area here. Everybody's friggin' murdering and destroying everything they can at a time when everybody needs the most, and it's just traitors to their kin. Yeah. Indeed, there are few crimes worse. Make them feel it. Uh, for any low gain lover, um, Solus's words right there. Traitors to their king. Few crimes worse right there. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. Alright. This is where having a rogue is a must-have. What are these things? <laughs> I love the way she talks. I really do. I really, really do. Alright, so why the Templars haven't rebelled? You know, the, the good Templars, if there even are any left, and how do you tell the difference? Just like with the mages, between the blood mages and the ones who, you know, um, are, are staying true. I, I, I don't know, you know. Alright, Barris. Look, dude. Oh, really? Just, just gonna, okay. Well, guess what? Okay, you earned that. Do it again. Barris is really cool. He may not be that bright, but he's pretty cool. He didn't complain too loudly about the body slam. This is all a luck thing. You hope you pick up something good out of one of these containers somewhere. Would have been nice to find some blue items. That would have been cool. Prepare them. Guide them to me. Was that the Lord Seeker? What the what? All I hear is fighting. Mmm. Nobody else heard that, huh? So it was just in my own head then? He wasn't speaking directly to me, either. I mean, not from the tone of it. So, I'm I'm in tune with that. I can hear that. I don't know exactly how that's going to play into the story, but, uh... That's interesting. Something, to, something just to make note of. Alright, so... Whatever's talking right now, and that's certainly not any person... Um, is already in my head. Apparently. Mmm! Take that. Man, when they're frozen and you can pull off a critical with that, ooh, that's sexy. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there's a single bit of dialogue for Sarah that I don't, that I, I don't, I don't love. I, she's adorable in every way. I don't know. Honestly, all the characters in this game are so well developed, are so well voice acted, are so, uh, the character, oh man, it's amazing. I mean, they really went, uh, above and beyond. They really, uh, went that extra mile on this one. They really did. I guess I could say that about all the Bioware games, though, really. Just to be honest. To be fair. What I really like, though, is when you expect good storytelling, and then it's even better than what you expected. That's, uh, that's, that's really cool. Like, they throw in some little details. Just a little, a little bit of dialogue here. Something a character might say off to the side. Some little banter they may have between each other in the background that you would never expect and just totally fits their character and it fits right with the mood wherever you're at in the game and I just, it's those little, I, I don't know if you want to go so far as to call them little magical moments or whatever, but it's just those little times like that where it's, it's special. It's like, man, 
It brings life to the game. It, I don't know. It's it's really immersive to me, anyway. I guess if, if you're not an RPG fan, it really wouldn't make too much difference, you know? I guess, you know, there's lots of different genres of games. You have shooters and you have, you know, puzzle games and stuff. And so maybe the deep, immersive storytelling deal isn't isn't for everybody or whatever. But um, I honestly, and this, this isn't... This isn't talking down to anybody, but I almost feel sad or sorry for people who aren't RPG fans. Because this right here is a, a rich kind of game development here that I, I don't really think you find anywhere else. I mean, I've seen the same type of creativity go into different types of games. And some games which don't require a whole whole lot of work necessarily, but open open the lines for so much creativity that they're amazing in and of themselves. Like, say, Minecraft, you know, or, or one of the other really, really popular ones and stuff. I mean, I get that. But as far as just, uh, I mean, the 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 type of, of thinking that goes into this is the type of thinking that would go into like a masterwork painting or or an amazing movie or a really really well written book, you know, a best selling book or something, that type of stuff. And I I, I don't know, I really appreciate it. I really respect it. I think it's just, it's just incredible. And the ones the the ones that really really get it right, Bioware, Bethesda, you know. And doing their their own unique thing, but making it really, really rich and rewarding to play. It's just uh, yeah, it's good for me. It's good for me, definitely. Yeah, let's get rid of these archers first and foremost. Archers take the place of mages. Origins and uh, Dragon Age Two it was it was mages. In Dragon Age Two, you also had these stupid assassins. These one-hit backstab dudes, but uh, in this one, it's it's to me the archers, or as far as the demons go, the wraiths, and those little shrieking characters, whatever they're called, banshees or whatever they are. Um, yeah, this takes the place of mages. These guys are just brutal. <laughs> Make sure they're dead. Anybody else? All right, we need to go find this Lord Seeker dude. First, there's a uh, there's a side room it's over here. Actually, a Barris will kind of show you the way. He'll kind of stand next to it until you just show that you have no interest in going over there whatsoever. But um, there is a amulet of power for Cassandra in here, which would be nice to have her with me. Give her an extra ability. Was the night captain hiding the body for the Lord Seeker? Did he kill the man himself? Mako, what's happening to the Order? Make good use of it. I nice. That Masterwork Sheiker Sealed. Sheiker, Sheiker Sealed? Seeker Shield? Ah, that's funny. Um, that Masterwork Seeker Shield is um, really, really nice piece of gear. It's a great shield for your tank. There may be better, I don't know, but uh, I found it really, really useful. It has a, it has a nice armor rating. And uh, an extra um, slot for material, so you can put an extra extra bit of buff on it. You know, see, apparently I'm the only one that can hear that right there. What do you think to accomplish? What will you become? We'll find the reason why here momentarily. First, like I say, the most important thing though is to loot the place. Look at the statuary and the bushes blowing individually in the breeze. I mean, that's, come on, man, that's that's really cool. That's attention to detail right there. The lighting, shadowing, ugh. For a graphics fan, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, I don't think I'll get another chance to come back and collect any of this, so I'm gonna grab everything I can, while I can. And there we go, there's the Lord Seeker. Let's see what he has to say. Um, hello? Bro? <laughs> Didn't come to talk then, huh? Well, that's not good. Alright, this is where we'll pick up the next time. Thanks for watching, and we will get into the rest of this uh, storyline quest when we come back. 
you want to subscribe, hit that button over my head. If you want some more Inquisition, click that top box. And for all my videos, click the bottom box. And I will catch you guys later. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.